Let's get the show on the road. The Greatest Showman is the latest musical to come out of Hollywood. Uh, it stars huge stars such as uh, Hugh Jackman and Michelle Williams and it's directed by Michael Gracie, the first time director. Again, as always, this review is going to be spoiler free, but I might mention a couple of uh, plot points, like nothing major, but uh, if you do want to go into this screening completely blind, then uh, click away from the video, go and watch it, and then come back and listen to what I have to say about it. Now, as I said, interestingly, I didn't know that uh, The Greatest Showman is directed by a first time director. Uh, I like this quite a bit to be honest, I mean it's not very often now in Hollywood that you get a first time director that gets such a big budget. Uh, I mean this wasn't in the scale of like the Avengers films budget but it was still pretty high so it's quite nice to see that uh, up and coming directors are given like a lot of, a, bi a big chance, a big chance uh, to kind of make their stamp on the industry with a big budget so that was really nice to see. Now Hugh Jackman in this film plays the real life P.T. Barnum who's famous for creating the Barnum and Bailey Circus. Now the film follows Jackman's character's rise from just working in a newspaper where he doesn't want to be to creating and owning a huge successful circus. Now it's nothing new to say that Jackman is a fan of being on stage or is a fan of musicals but uh, what this film does is it just reinforces the point that he is absolutely perfect for this role. I mean he is clearly having an absolute blast throughout this whole film and his marketing on his own social media and things like that just show how enthusiastic he was actually about this role. In a recent interview he said that it took about seven, eight years to actually get the film going. So the commitment to any project he's clearly going to be like crazily interested in it and it definitely shows throughout the film because he is, he's brilliant in this, like absolutely brilliant. Uh, his chemistry with his wife played by Michelle Williams and pretty much all of the fellow cast members, um, it pretty much carries this film. Them working together and everything like that is 100% the best thing that you will take from this film. And it's not just him, everybody from Zac Efron and Zendaya, they all nail their roles. Like, they're all incredibly likeable characters. With a bit of backstory, not much on uh, the kind of supporting characters, but there's enough there to uh, make you feel emotionally involved with them. But all that being said about the cast, the film is absolutely stolen by one character. And I'm sure if you've looked at any of the promotional material or anything like that, you know exactly who I'm going to say. And it's Keela Settle who plays Letty Lutz, or the bearded lady essentially. Her moment in the film is the best thing about it. And I won't spoil when the moment's coming or anything like that, but I'm sure you know exactly what I'm talking about. It's when she... Uh, sings the song This Is Me. It's the song that's currently taking all the awards at the awards season and I will be absolutely amazed if it doesn't win the Academy Award come Oscars time. But um, her in this film, she, she blew me away. She's, she's not particularly been in anything really. She's had a couple of minor roles here and there. But I guarantee after this film the next two years she's going to be absolutely huge because it was the best bit about the film 100%. Talking of songs about this film though, it's uh, from the now very famous guys who brought you La La Land and pretty much every song in this film is incredibly catchy, it works in the moment that it's going in. Some maybe less so than others but even those, they're brilliant, it's just they're maybe outshone by one or two songs in the film that just completely took my breath away, really. I, I don't really use that phrase often, but they were brilliant, and I just found myself smiling through all, all, every single number in this film. My main criticism of the film, though, is 
after you kind of peel away all the glitz and the songs and everything like that, there isn't a huge story. I mean, obviously there is a story because it wouldn't have, uh, like the film wouldn't have kept going as it did, but the actual story itself could potentially be boiled down to a 30 minute film. When I left the screening, I found myself like really happy and I enjoyed the songs and everything like that, but then when I thought about it I was like, there wasn't actually a crazily in-depth story in there, it was something that was very very simplistic and it was just covered by lots of songs stuff like that. When I went home and I actually googled Petey Barnum, he had a incredibly interesting backstory that Certain things couldn't have been explored in this film because it would have completely changed the tone, but there are a lot of things that they missed out that I almost feel would have done the story a bit more justice. So, in terms of negatives, that's a big one. And another negative is, undoubtedly the film is absolutely beautiful to look at. Once you're in the circus, it's full of like extreme set designs and... The characters are essentially flying everywhere. But my main problem is the outside shots. They're very bleak and dull. And I realise this is done in a way to almost contrast between the mystery and the excitement of the circus compared to the bland, dull outside. But then it's too dull. Now, with all that being said... Did I enjoy The Showman? Yeah, I loved it. Is it perfect? No, it's far from perfect. But it is a very good film. If you enjoy a good musical that has some really, really catchy songs, that has, once you're in the circus, an amazing set design, and is performed extremely well by all of the cast, then you're going to absolutely love The Showman. So, for me, I'm giving The Showman an 8 out of 10. Thanks for watching the video. If you liked it, then please give it a thumbs up. And if you want to see more of this content, then click the subscribe button. I'm going to be trying to do more like old films. So if you have anything in mind, then uh, just whack it in the comments and I'll try and get around to it. But remember, film first before anything else.